Are we living in the last days? And the answer is yes, we're living there. If you look all around us, the signs of the coming of the Lord are here. When you read Luke chapter 21, read it all, and read all of chapter 24 of Matthew. Luke 21 and Matthew 24. You'll see all the signs that Jesus talked about you'd see in the last days. He said, in the last days know this, that there'll be nation rising against nation. Kingdom will come against kingdom. There'll be wars and there'll be rumors of wars. That there'll be pestilence, there'll be earthquakes in different places, and the heart of men will grow cold, will wax cold. That to me means you just won't care. And you know, we already have a, a government in place right now that doesn't care. They don't care about the lives of unborn babies. They don't care about anything other than gaining power. We're living in the last days for sure. But now catch this. I also believe that there is a rapture that's going to take place before the coming of the Lord. I see that in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7 and 8. He says, Only he that now letteth will let, till he that hindereth be taken out. Now the he is the Holy Spirit residing in the heart of every child of God. We hinder a lot. You see, I believe the government and or the powers that be would love to do a lot of things, but they can't because the church hinders them. They know that the children of God would rise up against anything that they would want to do. Well, such as if they would say, we want to put a chip in the, in the hand of all people so that we would know everything about them. But they, won't, they don't want you to know that. They would say, it's only for your good. I mean, you won't have to use a credit card. You can buy and sell with this chip. And uh, if, you, if you have this chip, and where do, where do they want to put it? They want to put it in the forehead or in the, the wrist or the hand. And that's exactly where the mark of the beast is supposed to be. And they say, but no, 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 this is not a mark. This, this is just a chip. And, and, and we have to have it in these locations because that's how the battery is going to be charged. I did, a, I did a little study on that and found out how, how that, that lithium battery works. But the thing that I want to get across to you is that being that we are in the last days and this technology that we have today would, would serve as a protection. No more identity theft, they would say. No more stolen or lost credit cards. No, no more worry about trying to keep medical records straight. It'll all be stored there on that chip. You'd say, oh, they can't do all that on that small, small chip. Yeah, they can. I mean, you take this small watch right here. It records every step I take. When I go to bed, when I wake up, how I slept, how deep I slept. It, it also records my heart rate and uh, my exercise minutes. All these things right there in that and so much more. And all that is transfer it over to my telephone. Well, you know, they've, they've got 66 low uh, orbiting satellites right now that pick up information just like this so they can keep tabs on you, what you buy, what you sell, and where you are. This is the technology that we're in today, and yet they can't do all that they want to do because the church would hinder them. And when John was caught up in the heavens, he saw all these things taking place. Folks, we're living in the last days. Jesus is coming, but please know the rapture is also upon us. Any moment, any moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we would leave this earth and be with the Lord, being as children of God. So are you ready? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Signs of the time are all around us. It's not for us to fear what's coming. It's for us to know that we are well taken care of because we've placed ourselves 
in the hands of God. Yeah, the world might not care about us, but God does. The world might not care about your life, especially if you're aging. Well, just go ahead and let them die. If you got a terminal Ill, illness and, and you're no longer uh, a prophet to society, well, let them die. Folks, I know they wouldn't say it, but I believe in the heart of the system today that we're, we're diving into. I believe that this is the very consensus of the mindset. I want to sing a song that talks about the coming of the Lord and where we are. Remember, we're living in the end time. The rapture could take place anytime. And in fact, according to the scriptures, Jesus could come back anytime. But the rapture takes place first. Are you ready? The song talks about that. The years of time have come and gone Since I first heard it told How Christ Jesus would come again someday if back then it seems so real then I just can't help but feel how much closer his returning is today Sigh of the time are everywhere oh and there's a brand new feeling in the air keep your eyes up on the eastern skies lift up your head Night, oh, wars and strife on every hand, and there's violence that fills our land. Still, some people doubt if he'll ever come again. But the word of God is true, he'll redeem his chosen. So don't lose hope, Christ returning will descend. For signs of the time are everywhere, and there's a brand new feeling in the air. Oh, keep your eyes up on Lift up your head, redemption draweth nigh. Lift up your head, redemption draweth nigh. Amen. He's coming soon. Please, please be ready. Know Jesus as your Lord and Savior so easy to, to know him believe in him know what he's done for you and accept him by saying jesus come into my heart it'll happen and you'll be so glad that you received him and one day hallelujah we're all going to be raptured as his children see you there <laughs>